is now with Brad Galley and certainly the yeah. name Mike Illich, yeah. a sports legend. Yeah, and it's amazing. Aaron said how fans wanted to talk tonight. We've had no trouble getting phone calls answered of all the sports greats in this town that knew Mike Illich so well. 42 years. The Red Wings had not celebrated a Stanley Cup championship in 42 years. In 1997, the long wait ended and everybody in white jerseys that night coined the phrase we heard for decades. We did it for Mr. I. Mike Gillidge was a fan. He was a wildly successful businessman, but he was a fan. And he wanted to see his teams win just as badly, if not more, than you and I. He brought big names to town, some with huge contracts, some with little fanfare. But the first step was drafting a kid from Cranbrook, British Columbia, named Steve Iserman. Over the years, that kid became the captain, and that team became a rallying cry. The city became hockey town, and Illich was the leader, writing checks, but passionately driving for success as well. In that summer of 97, the Stanley Cup parade seemingly lasted for days, but less than a week after all the joy, one crash changed everything. The theme the next year, believe. And after the Red Wings worked to honor their teammates, another cup went into the air and it landed in Vladdy's lap. Illich didn't stop. 2002, a team of Hall of Famers, another cup. The whole time, another passion was stirring, another driving force jittering in his heart. The Tigers needed fixing. They needed star power. So, like he always did, he opened his wallet, one by one. Pudge Rodriguez, Maglio Ordonez, Miguel Cabrera, Prince Fielder, Torrey Hunter. The list went on and the trips to the playoffs, once a thought to laugh at, became the norm, the joy evident on Illich's face, the fall classic. Of course, that World Series title, the one last gift players all said they wanted to give, they wanted to do all of it for Mr. I. While he leaves without that title, there's no doubt he also leaves a legacy and a mark as a sports owner we will never see the likes of again. Truly one of a kind, Mike Illich tonight, the sports world says thank you for a long line of memories, a lifetime of memories for so many generations. So many generations, and Detroit says thank you. Yeah. He really changed the shape of our city. Mm -hmm. Like you said, people eager to pick up. So nice to talk to Coach Bowman tonight, and I, when I called and said, what are you doing, are you busy? He said, I'm watching the game, but I have a few minutes for you, definitely to speak about this man who shaped all of us. I'll be back